Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. And Tuesday, we found out that the U.S. international trade deficit was down $4 billion from September, but the U.S. consumer confidence fell for the fourth consecutive month, while home prices gained and uh, they, their gains accelerated in September. Uh, consumer sentiment in Germany picked up again in November and the RBA's Philip Lowe said that the Reserve Bank may create money to buy government bonds if it runs out of levers to boost the economy when it drops the official interest rates to 0.25%. On Wednesday, we have the U.S. GDP data as the main economic event. Today, I'm looking at the Euro-Dollar pair, which despite forming a potential reverse head and shoulder bullish reversal chart pattern in the past couple of months, has now broken below the daily Ichimoku cloud. But if you look closely at the chart, you'll also see that the future cloud is bullish and that the pair seems to have found support above the 78% Fibonacci retracement level of 1.0. 0.099. Now, a break below the Ichimoku cloud normally does indicate further drops within the time frame of the chart, in this case, the daily chart. But in this case, considering the other bullish signals around, only if the 1.099 support level is broken, that is the only time that we could see further drops towards the next support of 1.0. 0.08. Of course, trading the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I will get back to you with more updates tomorrow.